Joining us now from Las Vegas is Rick Vallada. He has been on top of the story since day one of the Las Vegas Journal Review. Rick, give us an update. What is the status of the Raiders' potential move to Las Vegas? Well, right now, the uh, Oakland Raiders are, are having some negotiations with the newly formed Las Vegas Stadium Authority Board. And what the, uh, the intent is that is to get a stadium lease drafted in time for there to be some review by the NFL uh, owners who will be meeting in late March. And at that uh, point in time, they may make consideration of um, allowing the Raiders to, um, to move to Las Vegas. Sheldon Adelson uh, and the Las Vegas Sands negotiate deals all over the world. Uh, this wasn't particularly difficult. What went wrong? Well, it, it seemed, uh, according to some of the, the, the people who have intimate knowledge of how these negotiations went, was that they, uh, it was a, constantly a moving target for, the, uh, for, for Sheldon Allison and his family. They were doing a lot of, uh, of, of negotiating on various parts of the deal from, uh, you know, who, who, gener who gets the, the, the generated money from the parking sales and from uh, other, other aspects of the, of the new stadium. And it seemed like every time that there was something that was approved, or, or at least everybody thought that that was negotiated out, then the Raiders would change the parameters and, and ask for something different. So at one point, Andy Abood, who is the vice president of Las Vegas Sands Corporation, says about this deal, quote, if they had shown anyone, he's talking about the Raiders, if they had shown anyone that's been involved in this process at all, that document, we would have said, what in the hell are you thinking, unquote. It's pretty strong language from a company involved in a negotiation. Does the Adelson people regret the strong language, and do you think that they are completely 100% out of this deal, or could they work their way back in? Well, one of the things about the Adelson family is that there's, there's always the possibility for change, and certainly with things moving as, as uh, you know, as much as they are in this particular negotiation, it's possible that something different could happen. However, right now, the way things are looking, it does appear that uh, Mr. Adelson's family is out of the deal. Um, and, of course, the Raiders have indicated they have other financial sources involved. So uh, things are, are moving forward basically without the Adelson family. I don't know that they would be back into the deal, but it's always possible that they could come back. Jason Cole reported last week, last Wednesday, the two banks were willing to step up in the absence of Goldman Sachs. Uh, do you think that could happen? I, I do. And, and, you know, one of the things you have to, to take into consideration is you have to take the, the Raiders at their word at this point. And that's kind of what the governor of the state of Nevada has, has said all along is that, you know, we, we look them in the eye and we say, are you going to do this? And they say that they are. And so if they say that they do have two, ba do two banks that will back them up and take the place of Mr. Adelson and, and the uh, gold. <laughs> Goldman Sachs uh, deal, then certainly that is something that they would uh, consider would be, be possible to happen. What about the time deadline uh, uh, here, Rick? Obviously, the NFL meetings are coming up. Uncertainty remains. Uh, things have been in, uh, on the down low in terms of the stadium authority. The Raiders are, have no comment. Um, what about the timeline here? Well, uh, I think that what they want to do is get something in advance of the of the uh, owners meetings that's that's going to be occurring in Phoenix towards the end of March. Uh, I think that the timeline that they wanted to establish is to get something together like four weeks before that. So that's going to be like this week that they're going to have to have some kind of a deal put together, at least something that resembles uh, a, a good portion of the deal with a stadium lease with the uh, Las Vegas Stadium Authority. If they get that done, then there should be a presentation in uh, Phoenix at that, that owners meeting. And if that occurs, then uh, we might see a vote. However, it's also possible that uh, some extra time is going to be needed to do this, and it might be pushed on to uh, another owner's meeting, which is scheduled in May. From the outside looking in, Sheldon Adelson appears to wield an awful lot of weight in Las Vegas. We should mention he owns the Las Vegas Journal Review. Does anything happen in Las Vegas, especially a football stadium, that he was interested in being a part of? Does anything happen without his go-ahead? I, I need to make a quick correction. It's the Las Vegas Review Journal as opposed to the Journal Review. But, but does anything, the, the question again is, does anything happen if, uh, without his say? Is that basically what you're asking? Yes. Uh, he, is, he is one owner of a property. He owns two major casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, but certainly things are now in the court of the Las Vegas Stadium Authority Board, and that's comprised of uh, several different uh, 
uh, property executives from the different resorts in Las Vegas. So uh, it's possible that, um, that even though Mr. Adelson may have some say in some of the things, and he was the one who actually brought the Raiders to Las Vegas in the first place, that he may not uh, have a part of it. And he has indicated that uh, he'll be very happy if a stadium is built, and if he's not a part of it, that's fine, because that what the end game is here is to bring a stadium and, and an NFL team to Las Vegas. Rick, th there have been whispers that Adelson could go after another team. Do you think that's possible? I, I think it's going to depend on, first, what happens with the Raiders. I think that the Raiders right now is, is what's, um, what's on the agenda because uh, they, they are the, the team that's negotiating. If everything falls apart, it's possible that another team could be pursued. Uh, and who, what team that would be, it's kind of hard to say at this point because they want to make sure that everything is finished with the Raiders before they move on to the next thing. And they do have a time deadline on that. The uh, stadium authority is in, in place until October, and it's possible at, in October that they could extend that another six months. So we're looking at a, a hard deadline of April 2018 by which a stadium lease would be, uh, need to be completed with an NFL team. Rick, what's your gut feeling? My gut feeling is that something is going to, to come about with the Raiders. Um, I, I think there's too much opportunity here that $750 million in public financing is, is kind of hard to walk away from for, by the NFL. So I think eventually somehow they get this done. Rick uh, Vallada, uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. Rick, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it greatly. Thanks for having me on.